The Indian Air Force is all set to induct three more squadrons of the lethal Rudra helicopters in addition to the one already in operation. A squadron has 16 helicopters. An impressive performance ability in the high altitude regions by these helicopters has obligated the Indian Air Force to add more squadrons. It is designed to comfortably operate at over 20,000 feet. This was displayed with aplomb during the recent standoff with China in the Galwan Valley. The HAL Rudra, also known as ALH WSI, is an armed version of the HAL Group Utility Helicopter, which is designed and produced by the Indian aerospace manufacturer Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Once inducted by IAF, the total number of Rudra helicopters would increase by 48. Out of the 91 copters delivered till now, the Indian Air Force has 16 and the remaining are with the Indian Army. Another 25 are in pipeline for the Indian Army. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Rudra displayed a heavy payload carrying capacity at 20,000 feet or 6 kilometers while safeguarding the borders along LAC. A dual-purpose helicopter, Utra can act as an attack as well as cargo and troop-carrying helicopter during warfare. ALH Rudra is a Mark IV helicopter, slight improvement over the Mark III variant in terms of avionics and a big improvement over Mark III in terms of the payload-carrying capacity. The Mark III variant features the sensors and mission equipment, electronic warfare, countermeasures, targeting systems, utility roles of defense services, and suited for high-altitude operations, but lacked weaponry. The Rudra Mark IV is provisioned with various armaments. This version has a French Nexter 20mm turret gun fitted right under the nose, Belgian 70mm rockets, and MBDA air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles such as the Helena anti-tank guided missile armed variant for attack, close air support, and high-altitude operations. The 20mm rounds are extremely lethal in penetrating even the heavy armor. Hence, even without missiles, Rudra is extremely dangerous in anti-armor role. Rudra can carry four French Mistral missiles capable enough to destroy targets within 7 to 10 kilometers range, besides carrying 12 French FZ-275 laser-guided rockets at one time in each of the four hard points. ALH Rudra is tailor-made for our requirements and can prove its metal in the higher Himalayan ranges during warfare. The Rudra is also equipped with forward-looking infrared day and night optical cameras and a thermal imaging sights interface, integrated sensors, weapons and an electronic warfare suit. It is also furnished with an upgraded version of the glass cockpit used in the HL Group Mark III. It has an integrated defensive aid suit from Saab AB with an electronic warfare self-protection system that is fully integrated into the glass cockpit. Onboard self-defense systems include radar and missile detectors, IR jammers, shaft and flare dispensers. The helicopter can be used in both unarmed and armed roles that include aerial reconnaissance, troop transport, anti-tank warfare, and close air support. Amid the development of the more comprehensive light combat helicopter, an attack-oriented derivator of the HAL troop utility helicopter, Indian Army officials concluded that there was value in procuring an armed model of the troop by intentionally avoiding any non-essential major modification to the original airframe, this armed troop could be developed and delivered relatively quickly. The concept was initially referred to as Troop Weapon System Integrated. Thereafter, the name Rudra was adopted. Development of the Rudra was officially sanctioned during December 1998. The 2XHL Turbo Mega Shakti turboshaft engines develop 1400 horsepower each 
and drive a four-bladed main rotor and four-bladed tail rotor unit. This makes the Rudra perform even better in the desert areas. Rudra is a 5.8 ton class helicopter with a 2,600 kg payload carrying capacity, the endurance time of more than 4 hours and a range of around 590 kilometers. However, in the higher altitude ranges, the endurance time and range could drop a bit. The operation ceiling of Rudra is 20,000 feet or 6,100 6, meters. All said about the lethal advanced light helicopter, it is still work in progress as only 50% indigenization has been achieved in its manufacturing with work on HTSC 1200 engine being in progress. The HTSC 1200 or the Hindustan turbo shaft engine is a turbo shaft engine under development by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is aimed at 3.5 ton single engine class and 5.8 ton twin engine class helicopter configurations. Further, India's defense manufacturing giant HAL is also set to be working on indigenization of laser warning receivers and radar warning receivers as also missile approach warning system. Last but not the least, directional infrared countermeasures is being enhanced to increase the survivability of the helicopter. Overall, this will increase the indigenized manufacturing percentage to around 75. India is set to rule the skies in the near future with yet another feather in its cap, the Rudra. Jai Hind!